All right, hey everyone. I thought I would take a few minutes and just for fun, um, dig into some of the features that I feel like a lot of people miss. Um, there's a lot in PodPage now, and I have a hard time keeping it all organized and presenting it well, but um, let's take a few minutes and go over some of my favorite uh, power features that you might not know about. Um, so first thing um, I'll talk about is the guest intake form. This is relatively new. If you go into your dashboard and you go to episodes, um, I, a while ago we added the ability to add a guest profile. And so what you can do is you can go in and create a whole, um, for every one of your guests, you can go and you can add a name, add a biography, add their website, upload a profile photo, their title, and then put their social media links, and then you can save it. And what's cool about this is then when you go over to your episodes, um, you can go into your episode, and you can, uh, there's a guest section, and then you can type the person's name in. So if I was on this, boom. And then on the episode page, so if we save this, it's uh, it's not fully complete. The, the bio isn't, but now if you scroll down to the bottom of your thing, there's my name, my bio would be here. Um, if you click into it, this is actually my page. So um, the URL, I don't know if you can see this, um, is guest slash Brendan Mulligan. It's really, it's fully SEO optimized. It's indexed on Google and it'll show all the episodes I've been on. What's cool about this though, I, it's, it's cool that we built this. It's kind of a pain in the ass to have to keep this up to date. So um, one thing that we recently added is if you go into your episodes, you have your guest intake form. This page is a URL you can send to guests that are gonna be on your, site, on your podcast. So we'll pop it open. Um, you can send this to anyone and anyone can access it and fill out this form and register themselves as a guest for your show. Uh, so it's cool for a couple of reasons. First, it's just an easy way to get information. Um, you don't have to ask them to like send you a photo and all this other crap. You just say, go fill out this form. Um, two, we include a podcast guest agreement and re release, um, which there's a full one here. It's prepared by Easy Legal for Podcasters. It works um, and they can sign it. You can also upload your own. Um, and then when they're registering, they've signed your release form. It says when the electronic consent was, um, and this part is done. So super, super useful for that. But the other cool thing is they will be registered as a podcast, um, as a guest in your podcast. So uh, demo person, um, put in an email address. This is my bio. Um, I'm a CEO, websites, pod page. Um, I can upload a photo. Here's a. Here's a photo of someone and put in a Twitter bio. Um, okay, so I'll go down and I read the agreement and I say, that's good. I'm gonna register as a guest on this podcast. Now you will get an email that someone just registered. Um, if you go into your dashboard, you'll see also that in your recent activity, you'll see someone uh, registered. But what's cool, you go to your episodes, you go to guest profiles, Here's that person that I just did. And I can say, I'm gonna add myself to an episode. Um, I can go in and remove the fake version and put in demo person, save. And then when you look at this episode on the website, episodes here, and you scroll down, there I am. You click demo person, this is a page for the demo person. This is actually a pod page user um, who we're doing a case study about, that's the photo. So um, anyway. Super cool. Uh, it's a really, really useful tool um, that people are really loving. So that's one um, of the power features that I wanted to show off. Uh, the second power feature recently added is just uh, sponsors. So um, a really organized way to do sponsorships. So let's say your show has sponsors, you probably wanna show them off a little bit. Um, uh, you can go in and you can add sponsors to your page and your sponsor profiles and logos will show up around your site. So you can say like, hey, this this specific episode was, um, so it was an awesome sponsor. Here's an example. Um, sponsor rocks, let's say the sponsored logo. What do I have in here? Sponsored by Modern Finance. It's a really cool podcast. Um, what's their, pod, their actual website is Modern Finance. List on the sponsor page. Um, I won't feature it on the homepage for now. Um, I can click save. So we've got this, I'll actually put the real name. Modern Finance Podcast. Okay, so my sponsor is Modern Finance. Uh, now let's go over to this episode. Let's go back to that episode I was just talking about. 
and say, okay, well, this is going to be sp the sponsors is going to be Modern Finance Podcast. So I'll save this. Again, we will open this up, this episode page up. Now we've got, um, oh, you know what it is? I don't, I, for this particular template, I've turned off the sidebar. You'll notice it's all centered. Um, for this, I'm going to go ahead and go to the website page designer, go to the sidebar and show the sidebar. It's going to squeeze things up a little bit. But now that I've shown the sidebar, if I reload this page, there it is. There's like my sponsor at the top. Um, if I click on it, it takes me to my sponsors page, which is a page we've created for you um, that has the sponsor information. You can visit the website. Um, and now I'm over, back over at the sponsor site. So super quick way to do this, but essentially like you can build this whole sponsor catalog um, and make it really easy to manage them. Uh, so that's number two. So number one, uh, guest intake form. Number two, sponsors. Um, number three, let's say reviews. Okay, so as you most most of you know, if you have an Apple Podcasts account or if you, you have a listing and people write reviews, we'll automatically import them for you. Um, we now import from Podchaser. So if you want to add your Podchaser ID, we can do that. So we'll pull in from places. But what if you have someone come to your website and you just want them to leave a review? That's now something that you can do. So you can go into the review settings. Um, you can allow on-site reviews, hit save. And now what happens when someone's on your reviews page and they click rate show, there's actually, you, they can leave you a review right here on your website. They don't have to bounce over to Apple Podcasts or they don't have to go to Podchaser anywhere else. You can get a review right here and then you can use that however you want. So super cool um, way to just be able to like collect, instead of sending them off and trying to get them to learn how to leave a review on Apple, that's an easy way to do it. Um, okay, so guest intake form, sponsors, reviews. Um, we've also added, um, this is a lot, but there's an integrations page. So if you wanna add like third party widgets and stuff to your page, this is the place to do it. Um, I don't know, I don't know what a good one would be, but if you wanna switch out your whole media player, you can do that with Fusebox. If you wanna add analytics, you can do that with Google. You can add commenting to your different pages, like dig around in here. There's a lot of stuff depending on what you want. Um, We've also added this lab section. This is a cool thing that we just added. Um, so let's say your podcast is not ready yet and you don't want your website up. All you have to do is click this button. This only applies to some people. Now when you visit the website, it's a big ass coming soon website. It'll have your trailer, as you can see right here, but it doesn't have the whole website. People can't get into it. So this is really nice as a way to lock down your website for coming soon. We'll turn that off. Um, and then this is cool. So like we added an announcement banner. So let's say you're going to be, you're nominated for a podcast award. Podcast award. Uh, and then you want to say vote. So you can use just regular HTML. So H R A R F. Um, and you can send someone to whatever URL you want. We've tried to make it easy with just like basic HTML. Um, and then you hit save. Now watch this. Go back over to the website. Now you remember this was a coming soon site. We'll go back to the regular site. But now there's this top banner. We've been nominated for a podcast award vote here. And now that will show up on every one of your pages. So this announcement banner basically is always going to be at the top. If you are in mobile, um, we could make this page small. And it looks great on mobile too. So um, that's another really cool thing that we just added recently. It's in our labs. We're still working on it. But it's a cool, it's a cool thing to check out. Um, so I think that's about, that's four or five. I'll do one more. Let me look around here. Um, if you know code, we added the ability to add all kinds of custom code. Most people, hopefully you don't need that because PodPage does enough for you. Um, uh, you Dave Jackson from uh, School of Podcasting loves this feature. Um, it's called the episode signature. So let's say you, um, you know, you've got your show notes. Every episode page has show notes. Every episode page has a transcript if you want it. Um, and it's all individual to that episode. So what happens if you want like a block of text or something at the bottom of every single one of your episode pages? So um, maybe this week you have a sponsor, um, you know, we can say, or maybe this week, like you want everyone to know, like my friend launched a podcast. Check out Modern Finance, right? Um, this is something that I might want at the bottom of every one of my pages. So if I hit save, what's cool is now I go back to the episode. So we've got all these episodes at the bottom of all these pages. This is that signature. 
it's not on one page. It's on every single page on my website, every single episode on my website. I go to an episode. Here's one that was done in February. Bottom of this, Modern Finance. So that signature block will show up. You can edit it whenever you want. So if there's certain stuff that you just put on in every episode, that's that's an easy way to do it. Um, so I think that's that's it. I'll I would recommend you go into the episodes list and go into the episode editor because there's actually a lot of stuff in here to play with. You can edit your show notes. You can add guests. You can add your own transcripts. Um, if you have a Facebook video that goes along with the episode, you can add that. Uh, category sponsored. So there's all kinds of stuff. Um, but anyway, that'll do it for right now. I hope this is useful. And uh, if you like this type of video, please um, post in the comments or post on in the Facebook group, um, podpage.com slash community, and let me know, and I can do more of these. Take care.